Hello, welcome to Greenwood Bonsai today and I'm going to be doing a short demonstration for you on this uh, Austrian black pine. This is a tree that recently bought in from a customer. It's been in his private bonsai collection for a number of years and we thought we'd just do a few small enhancements on it before it goes out on the bench for sale. One of the things we do here, one of the our main, my main job is working on trees that come in that we're going to we're going to offer for sale through the website or here at the nursery and there's always a few things we can do to them to just present them a little bit better and often give them a little bit of a restyle rather than just pop them straight out and what we're going to do with this it needs a little bit of work um, in the UK towards the end of October is a good time to repot pines so we're going to uh, do a repot on this tree we're also going to restyle it trim it shape it and wire it we're doing this for a number of reasons one of the reasons we're repotting it is that this this uh, foot has broken off the pot look this cloud foot been in here now we could glue it back on but rather sell it in a better pot so rather than a damaged one so it's been kicking around for a while with that pot falling off it so we need to do something about that and also the way this tree has been set up by the previous owner if we put that foot back under that pot like that is they've had a front of this tree in here so the front of this tree has always been here in between these two feet and i'm not so sure that when i look at that at the front of this tree that this section in here just doesn't seem to have doesn't show you all the movement this has got a lot more movement than you see from that as a front so i've been pondering we're just changing the front coming around here a little bit so that it shows a little bit more of that movement off. Also from the side, with that as a front, it's a bit flat. And I think if we brought it round, it gives us a bit more uh, depth front to back. Another few things with this tree that we could work on when I've been looking at it is the foliage here is quite, is in just, it's quite narrow, quite a flat paint plane coming across here like this. I'd like to perhaps either do two, one of two things, I want to try and raise that up a little bit but then I also want to try and bring this down a little bit and then also this gap here is a little bit wide so I want to try and pull this back down and into the tree a little bit more like so. So I think we're going to do those few things and I think it'll make it uh, appear a nicer shaped tree and just make a little bit of progress with the shape and the design of the tree. So we'll set about doing those things uh, and we'll see, how, we'll see how we go. We'll repot it last of all. So quite a long needle Austrian pine. Uh, the buds on it are quite healthy, but it is quite a, quite a shaggy needle. And what I'll do at this stage is I'm gonna cut through some of these needles just to give it a shorter needle length visually uh, and it will let more light into the tree and promote back budding. Now, whenever you cut through needles on a pine like this, you don't do it with a finished tree. You know, this isn't a finished show tree. Yeah? So we're gonna do it because at this stage of development, it will help the tree. But where we do get a bunch of needles like this and we gather them together and cut through, all these tips will go brown. It won't really harm the health of the tree, but cosmetically, they'll go brown. These needles are gonna stay on a couple of years they'll fall off and of course we won't cut the new ones and the new ones will be fine but I'm going to do it to this tree I say doing this all over it will let more light into the tree so it will back bud a little bit more and throw a few more shoots out but also it will make the tree look a bit tidier and less unkempt and I'm going to wire it and the third thing it helps us do is it helps me wire the tree just because it's easier for me to get in there and wire the tree once we've got less length of needle and clutter to these foliage pads. So if I just get in there, shorten back those long needles. And can you see, just by doing that section there, we can now see a little bit clearer what branches we've got, where they are, and we can get in there and wire along these shoots a little bit easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to prepare the tree like this. So it's quite a quite a quick uh, task just to work our way around. I'm not going to be too 
selective at the moment regarding um, branches and shoots. We've got a few areas where we've got excessive amounts of growth. We can take the odd shoot off, but I think most of these shoots on this tree, we're going to actually utilize them. I don't think we'll be cutting a lot of, a lot of branches off this. So just gather this together and shorten back these long needles like so another section in there done and also any needles that are going down from the branches we can remove those completely just a few minutes just working away through the tree just shortening back I say shortening back those longer needles there's a few in here to do little bunch there, this one here. But you can see just by doing that, it's made it a bit cleaner, hasn't it? Yeah, look a bit more sensible. So please excuse the cut needles, we'll explain why we're doing that. And now I can get some wire on these branches to start and shape and position the tree. So that old front here, it's gonna move a little bit. And I think we're gonna try and move the front of the tree a bit more around here. Uh, to this marker so I'll just leave that in there to help me remember these roots on here are not particularly nice so what you can't take all these roots off all these jumble of roots but the worst offenders like this one I'm going to take that one off this little one coming across the front we don't need we'll have another look at the roots when we, when we, uh, when we take, take the tree out of the pot and it comes time for repotting the tree in a, in a few minutes. So next thing now, we'll get some wire on this tree. And as I said before, we've just got a lot of, uh, we haven't got much height to this. It's just very flat here. So we'll see if we can gain some height. And we can't gain a lot of height here. What we can do is drop maybe some of these branches down a little bit like this. So we'll get some, uh, some wire on that. And some of these here are good, uh, sort of some chunky 10, 12 mil thick branches on this tree so let's not uh, let's not skimp on the wire we'll get some heavy wire on that see if we can't bring those down get them to shape so we'll get a little uh, bit of five mil wire we'll start it in here and i might be able to do that that section there with it at the back and then bring this section round like so and through here So this wire is going to do this branch here towards me. This is going to come back round here. Try and wire through. That's why getting rid of those long needles is going to help. Has helped me. Makes it easier and cleaner to do. It's a good task to do prior to the to the wiring. When we get to the end of the wire, we can just use a pair of pliers, look, just to pull and twist just manipulate the wire through and along the branch like that back down to this section here just make sure we get those those needles out of the way we've got back budding on this branch try and make sure we don't knock off those small developing shoots pull that wire through there you can see here look we've got a little shoot in here just got to be careful we don't nudge that when we're doing the wiring. So we'll drop down to a slightly thinner piece of wire to do this section here. So this is going to do this main trunk coming forward, which I guess is essentially it's going to be the top of the tree, the apex. And then this one down into here with the other end of a piece of wire. And you can see what I'm doing. It's a bit difficult with this wiring because obviously I've got to wire sort of towards myself so I can see what I'm doing, which means I'm often wiring, you know, the sort of this side of the table and it makes it hard to, to film and to see. So we'll try and do a bit, turn it around so you get an idea. Again, we've got two little sprouts here. So just slow down with the wiring. Make sure we get through there. We don't harm or damage them. 
then when we get along to the end of the branch again, use pliers if necessary to help you with the tip of that wire. Bring this section up through here to the top of the tree, around here. We're using aluminium wire. Same as, as I said before, I tend to use aluminium because it's quicker for demonstration purposes here in the UK. And uh, do use copper also, learn to wire with copper. But this is uh, tends to be a bit speedier. So we've got another branch there, that's gonna need a, a piece of wire. So this section here is gonna do this section. And then this piece of wire on my right hand is gonna come along that main branch as we've already put one along there it's just following along the side of it and it's coming out and it's going to do this branch here and say so this is a sort of five mil wire it's quite uh, quite chunky stuff you know some people find it difficult to bend but you'll get there you get the hang of it once you've done a bit of wiring i say so using pliers to help you out with this heavy stuff will make it quite a bit easier for you and then this piece of wire is going to come around and into here drop it through here just try to keep the needles away from the branches don't trap any foliage against the branches nice and neat through there about a 45 degree angle this wire will probably stay on this tree a year or so, and some of that's dependent upon the the growth rate of this tree. Really, you know, once we do this work, if it puts on a burst of growth next year, we might have to take the wire off before then. But the main thing always is to take the wire off before it starts to uh, starts to cut into the tree as the tree grows and the branches swell. There's another little one here just onto the secondary branches. Just move this one out of the way so we can do this secondary branch here. Move the foliage out of the way, look. Nice and easy and wire through and then finish the wire at the tip. So that's that secondary branch wired. And then if we want to go further than that with this, we'll get another piece of wire and we'll lay a finer piece in and we'll wire these shoots and between there and round like this and then this one is going to come round same sort of thing just keep coming along to the end there and we wired this main branch and this secondary one and then these tertiary branches off that this piece of wire can just come along and finish that up through here quite easily done just get that needle out of the way in fact we might bring it along and just pop it over this little bit of growth on the tip there Look. quite resinous this is obviously with me when they're cutting those needles it's throwing out quite a lot of resin more secondary shoots to do on this piece and at this stage you know if you see me do a, some of this wiring demonstrations before you'll know that I then tend not to move these branches into position I tend to just get the wire on the tree and then once the wire is all applied then we can stand back and we can have a, have a fiddle with the branches and get them a bit more organized so work our way around to the front of the tree now Let's see if we can get some of these branches paired off. So there's one, oh, there's one tucked down in there. See if we can bring this wire along there and up here to meet it. I think originally this was a collector tree from the wild. Uh, I think the owner had bought it as like a raw material yamadori tree or something like that and had worked on it for a number of years and was just uh, reducing his uh, reducing his bonsai collection in uh, in number so 
it was offered to me for sale. Thought it was a interesting tree with a bit of character. So it's always something that we'll uh, we'll be on the lookout for or, or purchase if it uh, if it's got some potential in it. Sort of uh, takes a fancy. So we're coming off this one now and up and around onto this branch. This is coming down onto here on this lower branch. And along, along here to the end. Probably gonna have to do some of those, some of those secondary branches are gonna want wiring. That's, this is going to be the front of the tree towards me, so we're going to need to shape these, get them into position with them being at the front. They're not just filling in at the back. They're being at the front of the tree. We're going to need to we're going to need to get them into the right sort of position. So that's those done. So here we get another one, another wire here through to the front of the tree here. In all in all, this is probably sort of, we've probably got 10, 10 or 15 minutes wiring this tree. Try not to cross any of the branches. Uh, try not to cross any of the wire, sorry. And uh, as we work our way through this network of branches, try and make the wire neat if you can. When you first start wiring trees, it can be a bit of a nuisance and it's requires a logical mind to sort of find your way through the network of branches and make your wiring neat and, and unobtrusive and, and not crossing over. But the more you do, you'll get quicker at it and you'll find it a little bit easier, hopefully, most people most people do. I'm back to a bit of uh, two mil wire now, just trying to pair off some of these little side shoots that we're going to need to uh, to get into position in a few minutes go in here trim off this trim off this excess length of wire so that's all wired here this one there's one there that isn't done so this is going to want a little a little piece of wire on and just tuck that into here Move that out of the way. Like that, this one's done. Short and back, that's all sorted. So we've got a little bit to do. The crown of this tree. Uh, section in here. Oh, a slightly thicker wire for that. Let's bring this up and there. This down into here. branches there we go around this branch at the tip like that bring this one around here just use the wire scissors this time just to help manipulate that wire through between the branches thinner ones to do, one, one here to do, one round here on this side. A 
and you can see him getting got one on most of the tree now you won't really see it taking shape at the moment because we haven't really given it any shape but what we have done is we put the wire on it which is going to allow us to shape it just in a few in a few moments so that one's done that one's done these are all sorted there's a little bit more to do at the back we've just got this section here this section here to do so i'm just going to uh i'll do this bit won't bother filming this bit so we'll just fit we'll just i'm just going to carry on wiring off camera these two sections here and then once i've done that we'll come back and we'll do all the positioning of the branches okay so just finished off wiring this back section in here um, next job before we do anything any work on here is just to try and pull this trunk in a little bit more and the easiest way to do that here is this wire here i've just pulled this wire out with a pair of pliers just so i can get behind it with a bit of two mil wire and that's going to come around like that we're going to pull it back to this root this is quite a substantial root on this tree so we should be able to just tuck under it like this we'll use a little bit of a uh, little bit of clear piping bit of tubing just to cushion against this root so the wire doesn't cut into it we don't need to use anything here because the advantage of that wire is we're pulling off the wire and not off the tree so we're not gonna we're not at risk of damaging anything there and then this piece of wire is going to come down and around like this let's just snip those those ends off get this plier see if we can get it in here and just hold these the end here and just pull that and that's starting to to take that up so we'll twist that a little bit like that then we'll shorten this end back nip that underneath like that so it looks nice and tidy and then we'll get a thicker piece of wire we can use this piece from earlier and we can just put it in halfway point up just turn that and it will slowly shorten this it will just crank that further in towards the base and to the trunk of the tree it's quite a controlled method uh, if you watch back into the uh, video we did on styling Ezo spruce I used uh, quite a few guy wires on that tree so something like that I just pull that nice and neatly in so next thing spin it round here so uh, I've got the front of the tree facing forward towards me and see if we can position a few of these branches so first thing in fact, tell you what let me just let me try and do, I'll try and do it from around your side because you might see a little bit clearer against this plain background let me just grab a little chair for down here all right I'm going to try and do it off screen so the front is going to be in here so this section here yeah we put some four four and a half mil wire on that so to make this look to give it a bit more height i've raised that up into this section like this and then this piece here is going to want to come forward and down like that and then these are going to going to come into here and this section forward this here we can start to hopefully just build up the top of the tree like so bring this one down into here like this just organize these sections this one here wants to come up a little bit and into here and what's twisting round a little bit this way like that and then I don't want that shoot there actual fact so I'm gonna take that shoot there off here because I'm gonna bring this round a bit more like that this one's gonna come this side into here like so and this one into here pointing up this is gonna sit just here and this section here I want to bring this down so this is going to come down quite strong I've got some a couple of pieces of five mil wire on that so I'll try and bend that bend that down and into here and then up at the tip at this 
saw to height and in. And then this one here, there's a bit of a, a nuisance. This is growing down too much here. And this one, I'll try and bring that into here to sit on top of this. Try and bring this down, get this down into here like that. And then this one, gonna come around from the back, gonna help fill in at this height. So this is gonna give us, we need to wire the tip of this down here, get that done in a little bit like that. And then this one here is chunky at the back, but this one wants to come down to fill this gap in here, and that can drift up onto that one, and this one down like so. And then this wire, this one here that's wired, wants to come down and forward, and these are just going to fill in like that. This one is going to do the same, but at the rear of the tree. And then see if we can just bring these down here. To fill in. And then back around the other side. This one here wants to come down into here. This one just here. This one here. So I wanted to wire the tip of that, didn't we? So let's just get a little bit of, here's a bit of wire here, look that's left over from something. Just pop that on, on the tip of this branch. Just a bit of spare, just a little off cutter, two and a half mil wire. Won't go to waste, just use it on the tip of here, just along there. And then also this one. Right, so any final positioning I'm gonna do once we've got it in its new pot. There will be a little bit to do. Let's spin it round there now. So what we've tried to do is we've now got more height from here to here. It's probably twice as tall as it was before. Before it was just very low. We've tried to raise this up. We've certainly dropped this down. We formed a whole other layer. In fact, we've got one, two, three on this right hand side. Let's slide out this part and see what we've got to work with. So obviously one of the reasons we're doing this styling is for a repotting process because this pot it's in is, uh, is quite badly broken when the foot's come off. We, we won't throw it away. We'll probably we could probably stick the foot back on a lot of hobbyists, you know, pots cost money, a lot of hobbyists will just stick that back on like that with some epoxy resin and put that at the back of the pot and keep using it. We might do the same, we might just relegate it to a, a training pot, it's got some good depth. We might be able to use it for something, to grow something on in for a little, a little while. So on its side, it's not wired in, so see if we can just carefully take it out of the pot like so. Okay, just get rid of this pot over here and then we can see about combing out the roots. So with a root hook here, we can just start on the edge of the, start at the edge of the trunk look and just work our way around carefully combing, pulling out any weeds, working our way around, reducing the width, the diameter, and ultimately the depth of the root ball. It's quite a good, healthy root on it, look. So there's plenty of root there. It could have lasted another year or two in this pot. So let's say we're, we're repotting it mainly because that pot was that pot was broken and we've got a nicer pot to put it into so let me just move it to the edge of my table and then i can comb it out straight into this bin behind my table so it doesn't make too much too much mess just 
just keep on working my way back round to the front. Just move that front marker back in a bit. And the underside of the root ball look in quite a coarse gritty mixture. You can see the mycorrhizae, the white beneficial mycelium in the root ball. It's a good sign of a healthy tree. Tilt it over this way. You don't have to fully bare root this. I'm just combing out enough. Not too much, but also not too little. So once it's combed out like that, bit of a trim with some greenwood scissors. It makes light work of trimming through the soil and the roots, like so. Pop it up on the table. Get rid of some of that mess and see what we've got. So now let's have a look at another suitable pot. Got one just over here on the table. The pot it was in before, in fact, I'll put them side by side. Hang on a minute. This is the one it was in before, quite deep. There he is with it. This is the one we're thinking of putting it into. I think this is perhaps a little bit big. It'd be nice if this was an inch smaller, but we haven't got it an inch smaller. But the depth is more suitable. This is quite heavy, visually heavy, for a delicate tree with such good movement. So it could do with coming out of this anyway. This pot is definitely a step in the right direction for this tree. So let's have a look. And again, like this last one it was in, three feet. The only difference is this one's got all three attached to the pot still, but we're gonna have two feet at the front, one at the back. So two feet to you, like that, one foot to me at the back of the tree. And then if we take our tree very carefully, whenever you're lifting old trees like this and repotting them, the thing to be really careful of is this old flaky bark, because this is really the beauty and the age of this tree. So what you, what you never ever do is just grab it around here and just start moving it around. Just, you're better off lifting it. I'm gonna hold it here just under these gins really carefully yeah, and just lift it up. So lift it up and place it into there. And you've got a better view of that than I have. So if I just pop round to behind the camera and have a look. See the style of the pot, this curvaceous pot like this, these sides, a beautiful curved pot, suits the movement in the trunk and the tree so much more. Whereas this was a lot clunkier and heavier. I think in time, this would come into a pot, will come into a smaller pot. But for now, I'm gonna pop it into this one to grow it on for the next few years. So once we're happy with that in there, we know it's gonna go into there, it'll physically fit. Just gonna slide it back out, and we're just gonna get the pot ready for the tree. So we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so we're just gonna get on, get this tree potted up now. So we use a bit of two mil bonsai wire, pop it up through the wire holes in the bottom of the pot. We're gonna put two pieces of wire in this. Because the tree's got a bit of lean to it, we'll put two pieces of wire in because it just makes it a bit more secure. We'll pop that one up through the drainage hole and the wire hole, like that. And then a little bit of mesh, just to keep the soil in the pot. Pop a bit over there, like so. And another couple of pieces over those other drainage holes. We'll make a couple of little ties to keep them in. You've probably seen me do these before. Do them a bit different than some people. I do a little twist like that, a little one like this, and a little one like that, and a little one like that. And so often you'll see that done, 
and people put them in the pot this way up. I put them in the pot that way up. So there's no sharp pieces of wire under the pot. They're just contained within the pot. So that's just gonna sit like that. And then another one here, same sort of thing. And that's gonna go under the pot through this drainage hole just to secure this wire into this mesh into place. So we've done that's a shotgun under the pot lot. Now we've used these wire holes and then this wire we'll just put through the wire hole, the drainage hole, and these are the two bits of mesh securing wire. So now we need to get make sure we've got Pot towards me, the front just here, and then we'll add a bit of a uh, bit of compost. We're, we're using some Kiryu Kiryuzuna Japanese soil, so we'll pop a little bit of that in the bottom of the pot. We take our tree carefully, and lift it over like this, and then. The soil that's in the part of the compost, don't pat it all down, just uh, leave it in there, a mound of soil, and then just take your tree and settle it down. We want the tree in the middle of the pot if we can, so we want to get it a little bit over more to the right, like this. We'll just get a little soil scoop. Just here, try and tilt it over a little bit more. So let me just get, get a bit more compost. Drop some in on the left hand side as we look at the tree. Like so. So the pot is a, a little bit too large. I say it won't harm tree can grow on in it, so get itself organised. Move some of these tools out of the way. Slide this over. I'll just get it filled back in. Just turn it around on the turntable. Just add in the compost as we go. stick or a chopstick just work your way around just gently tapping that in to get rid of any air pockets and to help work the granule the granules of the soil and the compost down around the root system around the perimeter of that root system and the and the edge of the pot like so once we've done that let's top up a little bit more and then let's just have a little look I'll spin it back round towards me and just have a look that we're happy with the front of the tree once we're happy with the front of the tree these wires need need addressing we're going to bring this one across here and uh We'll bring this one across to here. This should do with most of the work. And then we've got this little one here at the back. I'm just gonna bring that across and through. Just to help secure the back of the tree. Just pull those together as well. Just to keep that back edge in place. Excess length of wire. Back around here to this front one. Again, just pull and twist 
plant. So push that down into the soil. You never know it was there. That wire can stay there till we next repot the tree, at which time we just snip the wire underneath before we take the tree out of the pot. I've managed to cut off a few of these wayward roots as well. There's one in here that's a bit of a nuisance. I might have to just, uh, just peg that down a little bit. This one here. Sometimes you can just peg them down to the soil level to train them to grow a bit flatter rather than have the gaps underneath it. Just pull it down like that. Long. And spin the tree back round to me. So let's just turn it back round here. I'll come round this side. We'll have a quick tidy up. I'm just going to raise the tree up a little bit more so we can see it against the plain background. Okay, so I've just raised it up onto this table, turn the table underneath it. This is the front we've chosen here between these two feet. And just position the branches. They didn't need much doing to them, I did most of them earlier. A couple of little needles I've just taken off, a few little long sections. But we've accomplished what we wanted to do with this tree, which was to restyle it, to give more movement of the trunk to you as a viewer to repot it into a more suitable pot without any broken feet. And also to restyle this section, we've gained more height. We brought this apex up, dropped this down on the right hand side, giving us more, more drama, more movement on this right hand side of the tree. So black pine, um, just a sh short little demonstration for you today here at Greenwood. And uh, if you liked it, please give us a like. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out any updates on this tree or similar work that we've got planned that we're going to show you over the next few weeks. Thank you very much. Take care.